kitchen clean for a day. So, okay, we're going to move on to thing number two. Oh, those broken fingers, lagoon. I fell out of the shower and broke my thumb in high school. Dang. I know. <laughs> thumb would be hard. At least this is my pinky on my left hand. surgery and everything. My, my least dominant hand. You had to have surgery? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it snapped this bone in half, so I had a oh, pin okay, going this okay, way and okay, this way. Okay, okay, enough. And it was during enough. like AP test, so they actually let me type on a computer. Nice. I know it was awesome. Yeah. Ew, gross. Yeah, it was gross. <laughs> okay, so we are on binding today. Are you oh. seriously binding? Yeah. I did binding in my class this morning. Really? Yeah. Actually, you talk for one second. I gotta go tell Nicole something. Um. Yeah. It was the best. It was the Christmas tree skirt pattern class and I had watched two different types of videos um, to remind me how I did it because it was a year ago when I did it and so here I am doing the whole binding and showing everybody how it's done <laughs> I sewed it all together and I go back out totally did it wrong so here I was instructing the whole class how to do binding wrong um you so I had to quickly fix that <laughs> you should go watch my bicycles and blossoms class oh yeah i did the same thing wrong three times <laughs> anyway so. we're all real people right oh i don't don't listen to me oh. i'm the instructor but don't pay attention deborah said she's missed the toilet paper thing this is what we're talking about yes yep you guys all are klutzy everybody here's breaking everything broken my little toe five times five times Yikes. oh and one next to it four times that's, I'm sorry. Maybe you should slow down, Jackie. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have one more funny thing to show. For those of you that did Christmas Club and have seen my child, Holden, um, Maggie, her mom works You're here. You're 19-year-old? He's, he's 17. He'll be 18. 17. Okay. So Maggie, our one of our co-workers' daughters, drew me this today. She loves Holden. And so that's Holden. <laughs> <laughs> She's six. She's six. She's six and they she They have loves... a lot of the same interests. That's what she told her grandma. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we are going to do thing number two. We're really good at um, talking about nothing. Mm -hmm. So some of you requested that we do prairie points. And luckily, one of the first things I ever sewed in my whole life was this little table runner. And I didn't know what I was doing, but I just kind of figured it out. So I'm going to show you how I got to back up. Can we see the whole thing? It's not yeah. very big. Yeah. So it's just cute, cute, cute. made out of a charm pack. I did a three by one, two, three, four, six grid. And then I made the points on what I'm supposed to do. Chris has constructed this and I always forget. Place it down. <laughs> you can actually see it. <laughs> Instead of trying to hold it up in front of the camera. Uh -huh. So. Um, what I did wrong, and I'll teach you how to not do it wrong, is I quilted it first and then sewed the prairie points on, but I didn't have a back on it. So this is just raw bite batting. Nobody sees Ooh, the back, that. right? Nope. And I haven't fixed it, and it's been like 12 years. So it's not going to get fixed. Uh, probably If not. you've gone 12 years, just don't wash it. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. You dropped a So something. anyway, there are two ways to make a prairie point, and we'll just take it down here. Perfect. So this is just a five inch charm square. You're obviously gonna probably wanna start with something square. And you're just gonna fold it corner to corner. You can finger press it or press it with an iron. I would probably do an iron For your fabric and a little bit of starch. Pen. Yeah, you could do the fabric <laughs> folding pin. And then you can either fold it that way. So you have this little opening here. Or if you want it to be, no, that didn't work. It will work. What do you, how do you do it? No, I, that was, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do this way. This way will work, but oh, okay, you're you. going to like sew it. This part right here is all going to be hidden I'm like, into your into your seam. So you only get so the bottom. It will be like this, and you won't have the little side thing. It'll be on the back. Or it'll be in the front. I've seen projects yeah. where they have this in the front. It's cute, right? Um, and like the little girl in me, I used to run my fingers like on those silky blankets, you know? Oh, yeah, I'd yeah. I'd run my fingernails through that. So I would say, ooh, I like that, but... <laughs> That's just a weird aside here. You can make it for little babies. They can find their little fingers in all kinds of yeah. good stuff. So on this one, I just did it. Ugh, I'm having a struggle in here. Fold it in half, press, fold it corner, corner, press. So you have a little triangle. Okay. So I've got this All Hallows Eve from Joanna 
Figueroa. Is that how you say her name? And I, I was going to make the exact same thing, but I decided that we should maybe make it longer with just two edges, but you can really do whatever you want. Okay, so you're so going to do three I'm points do, on the ends? Yeah, just on the ends. I like that Less idea, work. actually. So in Less order work. to actually put a backing on before you quilt it, what you're going to want to do is add your prairie points, and then I would um, add your back. Well, you want to sandwich your batting. This is where it gets fun, people. Okay, so you'll sandwich your, sorry, batting here underneath, and then you'll put your backing on top. Right sides together? Yep, right sides together, and then you'll sew quarter inch all the way around, and then turn it out, and then your prairie points will be on the outside and your back will be there and you won't have this weird piece of batting that you don't know what to do with. Are you leaving an opening hole so you can- Yeah, you'll need to leave like this big of a hole to turn it and then just, you can and press it, it real good. And then you would quilt it. So, After yeah. it's all been put You'd together. need to do it on a domestic machine, probably. I think it'd be a great project Or you could bind on. it. I didn't know how to bind it at the time. And now? Well, no, you wouldn't want to ignore that. You don't want to bind it. <laughs> <laughs> It just didn't even occur to me what you were talking about. I'm like, oh, yeah, bind it. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I don't okay, know how. Okay, that's okay. pretty funny. Oh, gosh. So this is why we win at demos. Uh-huh. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is I have already made the magic of television. One, two. And I just did four along here. On this one, um, are people asking questions? Um, you know, I've got a couple of little things. Um, Marilyn says fold the side points in when you were talking oh, about that. Oh, and then fold it into a rectangle. Yeah, and and Bodhi, Betty Jo says I fold it in a rectangle and then fold the upper corners to the center. Yeah, that probably works too. Yeah, it probably works okay, that's better probably, than the other way. Yeah, it's probably the way we were supposed to do it. <laughs> that's a good thing. It's a good thing we get paid to do stuff we don't to know how to do. Stuff. Shh, I know how to do it. She does. Okay. Yeah, so what people were saying is fold it in half that way and then towards the middle. I think it ends up about the same size. You won't no, have that one looks a little bit bigger. Does it? I uh -huh. think it's the same. Oh, the same size that way, yes. I thought yeah. you were talking about when I did this whole Oh, yeah, thing. no, that was... Okay, so anyway, all I did was you are going to lay these down. And I left a little quarter inch... Let me get a different color so you can see should not have used white and go to the black so you're gonna overhang about a quarter of an inch there and then just make sure when you're doing this I don't know. so are you overhanging the top over the back or are you leaving no I'm, are you coming I'm in from a quarter a quarter oh, you're inch talking from about that the quarter edge. inch of the edge oh okay. yeah, you want that okay so um, it doesn't come out yeah, and, and it has gap. a nice finished edge. Yeah. And then I've got my fold here, so I want to make sure that this fold is going in the same direction. And I just kind of overlapped them. I eyeballed it. Well, who wants to better. measure in sewing? Nobody wants to measure, right? Yeah. I, I'm afraid I eyeball everything. Ain't nobody fussy enough for that. I eyeball it, and it drives my hubby completely bonkers because he I gets can... out the level O and yeah when no. he hangs pictures it's all perfect perfect i eyeball it i can eyeball like a quarter of an inch up yeah. to an eighth of an inch i yeah. would say so i just kind of evenly i mean obviously here's your middle so just try to find it put equal amounts on either side and then um i love the binding clips for this oh yeah and you can just clip i ran out of them they're over here on the sewing machine I finally got really smart and I bought 50. Oh, I just buy them whenever I feel like it. And these were on sale yesterday. So, and they're probably actually still on sale. I'm not sure if I scheduled that sale. So if you didn't get them, hurry and put them in your cart. <laughs> Don't tell Chris. Shh. Okay. So, and then we're just going to take it to the sewing machine. Sew a quarter of an inch. And then, voila. And then you will place your... Like I said, batting here. You're really, you're really fast at that. I know, sewing I'm so thing. good at sewing. Mm -hmm. And then you'll just turn it. So cute. I love and it. And that's how you do a prairie point. Um, I have done them before. I don't, I've had issues. I put them on other things. And sometimes when you flip them, you want to make sure that you get this down nice and tight. And when you flip it, press it well. Press good. it really good. And then I would probably top even top stitch it so they don't go cattywampus and. You've got your seams going in weird directions, just so they lay nice and flat. Okay. And Heidi says she's going to try it. 
you sh it's it's really a fun look yeah really it is it's look. really cute like um uh, we're gonna... and this is one of my little favorite things i just put it on my entryway with my trick or treat bowl and i have like a jack o lantern and yeah that's really it it's up. just fun one more thing one more yeah, little but, way to like add i had some... just barely started sewing i didn't know how to buy fabric so i bought a charm pack but i mean this is a scrap buster you can just cut a bunch of five inch squares we are probably you could do them smaller too yeah when you get good at it or bigger if you wanted to make a whole quilt this way you sure could jill wants to know how do you do the corners how do you do the corners you just so when you're sewing you'll come here and stop a quarter of an inch here and then um okay so if you wanted to go the whole way around just make sure you keep going in the same direction so my fold is here and i'm going to put my fold going that way and you'll just overlap it there I didn't press that very good. So when you're sewing, you'll sew along right here and you're gonna just pivot a quarter inch from your edge. So if you need to, just kind of put that little pin here and you'll be sewing, 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 stop! And then turn, turn and then you'll just go that way. And then when you turn it right side out, it'll look like that. So if you look that's the wrong direction. Sorry. This was a long time ago. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad she asked this because what I actually did is not what I'm explaining. Okay. I was going to say, I'll bet it turned out better in this explanation. Okay. So, press pause. <laughs> okay. So, what you're actually going to do is come in. So, you're just going to do one side at a time. I should have done this, but I decided to just do both edges on this one because I didn't want the prairie points going all the way around. So you will just sew edge to edge here. And then flip this over. Oh, I don't know if you can do this if there's a back on it. If there's Oof. a back on it, they won't show up. Yeah, they won't show up. If it's um, on the back, all those corners will be in, and you'll just want to trim them before you, before you flip it. Yeah, I should probably, like... Oh, Chris is probably just shaking her head at us right now. Chris is busy. Maybe she's not even watching. Maybe she won't watch this one. <laughs> so, yeah, I would just pivot. I'm just worried that that's going to... I don't know the answer to this question. <laughs> Anybody got some tips? Oh, that's too funny. Oh, Show the back, Cindy said. Of this, this one. Well, this is a bad back. That's why they <laughs> want to see it. <laughs> That's why I, oh, <laughs> embarrassing folks. I don't know. I, uh, yeah. I'm fired. Sandra, you got any tips or tricks over here for us? <laughs> <laughs> We're still on thing number one, folks. <laughs> you didn't even know. Oh, yeah. Daily Smile. We're to show you what not to do. Yeah. So I would recommend only doing both sides. Inside. Um, There's a way to do it. There is a way to do this. Maybe you would pinch it and trim it. I should have finished this sample before I went live. Show us the side that I stitched. Okay, I can do that. So I stitched, oh, hello. You gotta go slower, man. You're gonna just- I'm making everybody sick, I'm sorry. I stitched this side. So I could hurry and just put it on and see what happens, but I don't have a cut. So yeah, if you just wanna do two ends there, Oh, I don't really know how to explain how to do a corner. A lot of times people will do prairie points on the inside as well. Mm-hmm. I would probably not do two points together. So, um, you can do a prairie point this way as well. You wanna come say hi? And then do you guys wanna meet Shaylee? Yeah. Come meet Shaylee. She's funny. Shaylee works in customer service, so you get to talk to her lots. This is Shaylee. Oh, there's Shaylee. She just turned 20. <laughs> She's almost legal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think it would still work. Cindy just wanted to know if there was a back. There will be a back. There should be a back. When when you I just haven't finished making it because I was going to demo it. Okay, you know, she's just going to have to show you what it looks like in the end. Uh, this is going to be demo next time's demo yeah we're gonna show you how to finish the project. a lot of times you'll see um prairie points like this though and they're on the inside and then people still bind it and yeah again you'll just line them up here and then that way they get all then you'll do up. your binding like normal but okay if anybody figures this out let molly me know. says just google it <laughs> isn't Thanks. that the truth <laughs> Um, beware, Jenny might have a little video out there to show you show you how to do it. 
go Google and find her. I'm so fired. Just kidding. No, she's not. No, she's not. Okay, you do lots of good. So lots that's of good. That's <laughs> thing number two. We're going to see if Mallory will um, Amy write Amy says, hi, Shaley, I love you. I'll tell her. She just walked out the door. She did. She had to give us something. Yeah. Okay, talk to Shaley today. She was very helpful. That is good to know. Good. We will pass it along. She's we like Shaley. She's funny. When she first started doing this, she said, I don't like to talk on the phones. And then she started answering all the calls, and I went, you I sound really good on the phone. And I you're told her she was very kind. Gen Z, not a millennial, so she could handle the phone. Right? Yeah. And after that, she's done great. Uh, PJ likes just doing the end. Okay, so a lot of you were asking, well, I don't know how many of you were asking, but I did see, we want to talk about the mystery table topper class. Do you know anything about that? Is uh, it tonight? No. Is it tomorrow? November 12th. November 12th. Next Thursday. Yeah, that's the answer. I am <laughs> hopeful that you'll be getting an email in the next couple days with like should. fabric requirements and things like that. So and you'll have time to prep. You know, another thing too that I have just um, started to notice is that we are trying, we're getting in the description. So if you go to that online class, you don't have this for the mystery topper, topper but it, it reminds me. Um, you can go into the description now and it will have the requirements are you you're like laughing at me what did i do five fat quarters, fat quarters smiling at you while you talk oh okay i'm not laughing at you cindy says chris will show us tomorrow that's kind of what i was <laughs> laughing at like yeah she probably will oh no i was just thinking how she told me i have a really healthy ego and then like crap like this happens <laughs> and it goes <laughs> you know what though that healthy ego helps you under helps you handle the ups and downs a little bit go. better right mm -hmm. oh and you know i i did wear some girlfriend green today. Cute. For three at three. I kind didn't. of fun, huh? Yeah, I said I was going to do my girlfriend green jacket, but it's a little intense. I don't have one of those. And it's a little warm. Oh, hoodies came today, so they'll be shipping. Yay. Yeah. Oh, they'll... I got me a different size. It's yeah. good. I, I awesome. need to have two. Oh, Betty Jo says Chris said five fat quarters. Everyone's yep. saying you need five fat quarters. Yep. Five, ladies. Coordinate Speaking of them. fat quarters. You know, we've never even seen the pattern for this yet. Nope. It's a mystery. Yeah. 